Hi, and welcome to Professor Pincushion. I'm Tova, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own pattern for a hooded cloak. The nice thing about constructing your own cloak pattern is that you can customize it to your desired length. Even if you've never done pattern drafting before, this is an easy pattern making project to start with. Sharpen your pencil and let's get drafting. Here are the supplies I'm going to be using in order to create my pattern. First, I have pattern paper. So these are very large sheets that you're working on. I'll put a link in the description for where you can buy pattern paper. I also have a yardstick, some paper scissors, a pencil with an eraser, my sewing gauge, flexible tape measure, and some tape just to tape my paper down. Use your flexible tape measure to get the length that you want your cape to be. So you're measuring from the top of your shoulders down to whatever length you want and you're going to write that number down. You're going to cut a piece of paper and tape it to your tabletop. Now the size of the paper should be about 10 inches longer than your length each way. It's probably going to be a fairly large piece of paper so you may have to tape several sheets together to get a big enough working area for you. I'm going to do a very short cape just so it's easier for you to see everything that I'm doing on camera. Definitely use your pencil for all your markings. I'm going to go ahead and use this green marker just so it makes it a lot easier for you to see what's going on. So just to prepare, I'm going to draw a straight line up at the top of my page. Now the length of this line doesn't really measure. I just make it a really long line. I made it about, I'd say, five or six inches longer than what my length is. And I'm going to go ahead and draw another long line that goes real perpendicular to this first line. So again, the length doesn't really matter. I'm just drawing a long line. And then I'm drawing another long line down here. So it's basically a three-sided box. So this is still open. I'm going to measure the length of this line. So let's say I measure it and it's 15 inches. I'm going to come down on this line at this point. I'm going to measure over 15 inches and I'm going to make a mark. From this mark, I'm then going to draw a diagonal line connecting it to this point up here. So you're basically cutting this angle up here at the top corner in half. You can see my diagonal line here. So we're just kind of preparing the foundation of drawing our cape. So the next point is we're going to start up in this corner up here. We'll just get a little closer. Next, you're going to make three marks in order to plot the neckline of the cape. So from this point, I'm going to measure over seven and a half inches, make a mark. Then I'm going to go on the diagonal line, seven and a half inches, make a mark. And then down this, make a mark. Everybody's going to do that at the seven and a half inch mark. Then you're going to draw a smooth curve connecting these three points. You can see my curve here. Now, if you need help drawing this curve, what you can do is just put your ruler here, the end of it, and just measure out seven and a half inches at different points. So you kind of get a dash line and then you can go ahead and connect that dash line. From the red line now, at least my red line, you're gonna go ahead and draw your length. So you're gonna do it on these three main lines again. Now, because I'm doing a short cape, Mine is going to be 15 inches in length. So from this point on this line, I'm going to measure out 15 inches, make a mark. From here, 15 inches, make a mark. And then from here, 15 inches and make a mark. Because most capes are probably going to be longer than this bottom line, don't stress out if you actually go past this line. Again, these lines we're just using as guidelines. So if you go down further than where this line ends, you can go ahead and extend this line or this line if you need to and tape on paper if you need to add more paper to it. Again, we need to connect our three points because this is going to be the top of the cape and this line we're drawing here connecting these three points is going to be the bottom of the cape. If you need help in filling in your curve getting from point to point, you can go ahead and do like what we did up here. So you're taking your ruler, measuring different points. So I would do 15 inches just to kind of help give me a guideline to connect the three points. Here is the basic outline of my cape pattern. So we have the top, you have two sides, and then you have the hemline of the cape. Now realize that this is actually half. 
So with this pattern, I would cut two and then stitch them together at one of my straight sides. You can see I added a dash line around my outline. This is because we need to add a seam allowance before making this our pattern. So I did a half inch all the way around, except for this bottom edge here. I just did a quarter of an inch seam allowance. This is because I'm adding a lining to it and I'm gonna sew the lining and the outer shell together. And because this is such an extreme curve, I'm just gonna go ahead and make that a quarter inch. Now, if you're not doing a lining, you can go ahead and extend this and make a hem allowance instead. You can see I also added other information. I have the gray line. This line is just parallel with my outline here. And I went ahead and did a double notch just to mark where I want the center back. Now, it doesn't matter if I put my notch here or here because they're basically the same length. I'm just picking one side and saying this is gonna be my center back seam and I'm gonna do a notch. So when I cut out two pieces of my fabric and two in my lining, I have something to match up. I just measure down 10 inches and then made my double notch. Now, because these patterns tend to be quite large depending on your length, if you can't fit your pattern onto your fabric because the fabric is not wide enough, what you can do is just make half of this pattern. So instead of this extending from here to here, I can do from here to my green line in the middle. So basically I'm just doing half of this pattern and now this is gonna be an edge. So instead of cutting two in fabric and cutting two in lining, I'd be cutting four in fabric and four in lining. And if you do cut on this point, make sure that you also add seam allowance on this line as well. Next, we're gonna be moving on to the hood pattern. So tape down a clean piece of paper and you're gonna draw a rectangle. It's 14 and an eighth, and the height is going to be 17 and an eighth. On your bottom line, you're gonna measure over 11 and 7 eighths and make a mark. From this bottom line, you're gonna measure up eight and a half inches and then do a dash line across at that mark. Next, you're gonna draw a straight line from this bottom point that we marked earlier to this point right up here. On the top line, you're gonna start at this point, measure over 10 inches and make a mark. Next, you're gonna draw a smooth curve starting from this point and blending in towards this side line right here. Just make sure that you don't end up with any pointy sides. You need to smooth it out so it looks nice and graceful. This is why it's important to use a pencil so you can fool around with it till you get the shape that you like, but it should look something like this. I marked the basic outline of my hood in red, so this would be the bottom of the hood that would be connected to the cape, the front of the hood, top, and then the center back. To finish my pattern, I added a half inch seam allowance all the way around. Wherever you need help with notches, you can go ahead and add a notch. Also, our grain line is going to be parallel with this line, which is the front of the hood. And then I went ahead and added my information. This is the hood. I'm gonna cut two in fabric and two in lining. So now you have the two pieces you need for our hooded cloak. Make sure to check out the hooded cloak assembly video. New tutorials are released weekly, so please subscribe to be notified of the next release. Make sure to check out our other videos and visit ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 200 sewing video tutorials, including our exclusive premium content. Our premium membership is only $5 a month for unlimited access and only available at ProfessorPincushion.com. Also, don't forget to download our mobile app for videos on the go. Thanks for watching.